Oh dear. Last time I moaned about doing 12 hour shifts, someone said I was a big wetter. That's all I'm going to say. Welcome back to the channel. It is great to be making another video. I just love this. Um, even though it puts me a little bit out of my comfort zone, I still enjoy it. Um, right, wanted to update everybody about the East Kent Open House Art Trail, which I was a part of in the Margate Gallery, the Eclectic Art Gallery, uh, which is run by two amazing women um, who are Shoreline Partners. Uh, Shoreline is the name of the company. There's a gallery in Margate, Eclectic Art Gallery, and there's also a gallery in Westgate, so not too far away, a couple of miles. Um, and it was fantastic to be in the gallery physically, talking to people as they came in, talking about photography, talking about art in general, because you are there to steward the gallery. You are there to obviously try and sell, try and push people towards your own stuff. But if you can sell someone else's, I mean, it's a win. It's still a win for the gallery. And it was fantastic. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it was a little bit nerve wracking, not nerve wracking as in like a disaster was gonna happen. It was just more apprehension. And I suppose I was excited as well because I knew in the end I would enjoy it. Um, and I will be making a video in the not too distant future um, about my personal experiences of selling photography. So selling photography as an art form, I'm stating the obvious, obviously a photography is an art form, but I'm trying to differentiate between stock photography or any other kind of commercial photography, which has its own place in the world. We all, we need it, um, you know, it, it has its place in the world, but I'm trying to differentiate between, you know, that and selling photography as art, because stock photography wouldn't have a clue, would not have a clue. So I'm going to talk to you very soon in a video about selling photography as art, which I do have some experience in, and it has had, has brought me some success. Uh, I was hoping while I was in Margate to get out with the camera. Um, completely impossible. Um, it was it was too busy. Uh, however, on one evening we did go to Whitstable um, for like a sunset walk. Um, me and Mum went to actually a really nice pub in the end. Um, Whistable's lovely, there's a beautiful sunset. I didn't vlog, I didn't really do much. Um, I did take one photograph, which I think is pretty pretty decent. Add some B-roll, so you'll see that at the end of the video. Uh, that's my kind of one bit of video filmmaking that I did while I was down there. Um, and I suppose the next thing I want to say is my next kind of project for the channel, which is going to be my biggest challenge ever. Um, basically, I bang on to everybody about how much I love walking. And it's true, I do. And obviously, we all know how much Ben loves photography. But yeah, I haven't really challenged myself in terms of walking. Uh, what have I done, really? What have I done? So I've set myself a challenge, and I am going to be walking the Ridgeway. Now, if you don't know what the Ridgeway is, it is an 86 and a half mile national path from Ivinghoe Beacon in, in Buckinghamshire on one end to Overton Hill, Avebury in Wiltshire at the other end. So that is my challenge. Now, I don't drive a car, um, so already a bit of a disadvantage because if you drive a car, you could just find a car park and do each section of the walk like that. Mine will be a little bit more tricky, but then it's a challenge. It's meant to be a challenge. So that is my project. Um, due to life commitments and the fact of it costing money, it's not gonna be every single week. It's gonna be an ongoing project. So you'll see other content in between these videos, but I'm completely committed and I'm so excited. I'm so excited because it's basically Britain's oldest road. Um, it's Britain's oldest road. It's 5,000 year old road. Um, and I'm just so excited. We know how much I love history, you know how much I love photography, and it's kind of, and walking, it's kind of a combination of all those three things. So I'm really, really pumped, I'm really, really excited, and I can't wait to get started. Um, so that's the kind of, the future of the channel, the near future of the channel. So I'm really, really pumped about that. 
And that's it, just wanted to kind of check in and just kind of a bit of an update. And um, yeah, the next video that you will see will be episode one. So I don't know whether to call it episode one or part one. I think part one's a bit more English. I think episode one is a bit more American. Let me know what you think. I think I'm going to call it part one. So part one of Walking Britain's Oldest Road. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon. Cheers.